According to Bloom's revised taxonomy of cognition, there are several levels of thinking, ranging from the simplest forms, such as remembering and understanding, to the highest levels of thinking, such as creating something new from what you have learned. Professors ultimately want you to get to the highest levels of thinking, but notice, the highest levels of thinking rest on the foundation of the lowest forms of cognition. In other words, your ability to think critically will depend in part on what you remember and understand. So the first step in becoming a great thinker is to spend time memorizing and understanding information. The more you know and understand, the better your critical thinking skills may become. After memorizing and understanding information, you also need to practice engaging in higher forms of thinking. How do you do this? A particularly effective way is to anticipate and create the questions you think your professor may ask on exams, taking care to make sure your questions reflect the different levels of Bloom's revised taxonomy. For example, remembering questions are those that involve recognizing or recalling facts, such as, in general, what do vampires look like? Or, what time of the month do men turn into werewolves? Understanding questions are those which involve explaining or describing concepts, such as, Describe the steps involved with changing from a human into a vampire, or why is a vampire a threat to society? Applying questions are those which involve taking what you have learned and connecting it with real-world examples, such as knowing what you know about vampires, which one of your friends is most likely to be one, or considering your own health, are you a vampire? Analyzing questions are those which involve examining the components of a concept, especially to compare the concept with another concept. For example, compare and contrast vampires and werewolves. Evaluating questions are those that make some sort of a judgment supported by evidence, such as which is better, a vampire or werewolf, and why? Which, a vampire or werewolf, would be most likely to win the ninja warrior competition and why? Creating questions are those that involve taking what you know and generating something new with it, such as, what type of creature would you have to be in order to fight both a vampire and a werewolf? If you were allowed only one tool, what tool would you create to defend yourself from both vampires and werewolves? Generating critical thinking questions can be a challenge, but with practice, you can effectively anticipate your professor's exam questions. If you have trouble, visit the Learning Center.